Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Summon1. Today we're going to solve an integration problem shown here. The integration of x to the power of 6 over x squared plus 1 the whole 7th. Now let's get started. So, to solve this question, the most convenient way is partial fraction decomposition. After we decompose it, then we're going to solve for each part separately. Now, we did the partial fraction, and uh, it looks like this. Uh, as shown right here. If you do the partial fraction, you get the same results. Then, we're going to um, separate it because it's joined with subtraction and addition we can do it separately like so this one this first one is the same as the separate integrations this the integration of this this and this so all these are also the same as these now let's get started with each of them um so to make it easier, we're going to use a reduction formula. The reduction formula is applicable for this type of uh, form. For the integration of this type of form, there is an, a reduction formula that looks like this. So we have this form and we have the formula, this reduction formula. We'll be using this for all of it. So this is very important and the key point of um, this question. So, continuing with the other problem. Uh, we'll put this right here because we're going to need it. So, let's start. Over here, we separated it, right? So, we have these we have to do these have to do this this and this so now we're going to do this one we're going to solve for the integration of one over x squared plus one uh the whole fourth power fourth so solving for that uh sorry Solving for the for the question for this one. Um, look, a is the coefficient of x squared, which right here is one, and b is the add, the one that we add. So this is one. Okay. Um, and our n value, our power, it is 4. It is uh, 4. So, when we use this, when we uh, substitute these numbers in these, uh, we'll get the, this one. This right here and this right here. For example, so if you want to check, um, our x value is still x, has no coefficients. Our b value is 1, and our n value is 4, right? And 4 minus 1, we have 3. 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1, we have 6. And a is 1, x squared plus b is 1, 1, and n minus 4 is 3rd. So just like this one, we're going to do for the rest. So we have... Um, this uh, simplification for the integration of 1 over x squared plus 1. Now, we still have an integration. We did not finish it, right? So we have to do the integration of this as well. We have to do it until n is 1. Yeah. So, um, the integration of 1 over x squared plus 1, the power of 3rd, th gonna be the same we're going to solve it using the similar ways 
as we can see, the value of a and b is constant. n is the number that changes. So we just have to change the value of n um, again using this formula. This formula is very crucial. This this formula is very crucial right right now. Then at the end we got this one. Again, as I said before, we're gonna do the integration until the value of n is one. Then we can see other options. Again, we're going to do the integration. You see, as you see, a is one, b is one, n is two. Using the formula, the reduction formula we have right here, uh, we get this value. Now, n, our n value is one. You know, even though it's not written, it's the same as this is one. Now we don't have to use our reduction formula because we know what this stands for. The integration of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx is arctan, or tan inverse of x. Or the derivative of tan inverse of x is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1. We know that. So, uh, we were able to finish our or simplify our integrations and at the end we eliminated it with the integration now the next step is we're going to insert this solved this solved um uh -uh. we're going to insert these solved integrals wait so, as we can see from here, uh, it starts with this. We have x over 6 times x squared plus 1, uh, the power of 3, right? And then we just skipped all these. We just solved for the, for the integrations. Now we have to put them all together. They were all scattered. These are all scattered. And now we have to put them all together. So that we can know exactly what's the integration of 1 over x squared plus 1, the whole, the power of 4, looks like. When we put them together, when we insert these solved integrals, we get this. First, we have this one, right? Plus, we have 5 over 6, and the, we did the integration of this, but rather than writing the integration, rather than uh, writing the integration of this, we can substitute this one. x over 4, the power of x squared plus 1 squared. And then again, as you can see, we've written this, plus 3 over 4. Again, this is an integration, right? So we have to substitute its integration values, not the exact mm, sign. Again, we have this. Now, the integration of this is arctan, or tan inverse of x. We can substitute it right like this. So, finally, this one mm, simplified looks exactly like this. Yeah. Um, okay. So, mm, now, the integration of this one. After getting this, we know the value of 1 over x squared plus 1 to the power 4 because we've done it on our first problem. We, and we got this value. This value right here is the value of 1 over x squared plus 1 to the power 4. The only thing we have to do now is multiply it with 7 over 8. And then we are going to add it with this at the end. Our simplified total value um, looks like this. This one. Now, if we have done that, then we are left with two boxes right here. This and this one. See? We've done the two. Now we'll finish this in a very short period of time. So right here. The value of uh, the integration of 1 over x squared plus 1, the power of 6, 
will be again calculated using our reduction formula given right here. Yes, again the value of A, B is the same. Only N has changed, only it has is increased by 1. We have already solved the value for when N is 5. Now let's see what happens. Again, when we used the reduction formula and substituted the value of a, b, and n, we were able to find this. As you can see now, n is the power of 5. On the previous um, question, we solved this one. We solved for 1 over x squared plus 1 over 5. And we got the following result. Again, like we did before, um... The only thing we have to do now is multiply this value by this value by 9 over 10 right here and then add it with this and that at the end our value our simplified value will look exactly like this one look now we're all left with one box, which is this one. Integration of 1 over x squared plus 1 the whole power 7. The next thing we do is solve for that one. As you can see, the value of a, b is still the same. n has changed by 1. It has increased by 1. So let's continue uh, using again our reduction formula. We'll be able to find this one. The value of this one. Um, so now, using the reduction formula, we got this. And then, like in the previous questions, um, the same thing, the same pattern happens. So, we solved for 1 over x squared plus 1 to the power of 6, right? Yes. Um, and that solved uh, answer is right here. So the value of 1 over x to the power of 2 plus 1, the whole power to 6, looks like this. Now we have to do is, um, we multiply this, the whole thing, in bracket, by 11 over 12. Then we add it to this. Then at the end, we get simplified value exactly looking like this. So now we are almost done. All we have to do is just put all the questions, the solved things, the scattered things together, and it will be like this. So look, as we can see, we only solved for the uh, the one over this and this and this. We left out the coefficients, right? We multiplied by their coefficients, we added together, and at the end, the value of our problem, which was x to the power of 6 over x squared plus 1, the whole power to 7, looks exactly like this. Furthermore, when we simplify this, we will be able to get this value. 5 arc tan x over 1024 plus x squared minus 1 times x times the whole times 15x to the power of 8 plus 100x to the power of 6 plus 298x to the power of 4 plus 100x squared plus 15 the whole divided by 3072 multiplied by x squared plus 1 the whole power to 6 plus c here we have it thank you very much for watching this video if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get more videos thank you